when you come to create content on TikTok, you have to find your niche. Mm. You have to find your your kind of audience, and it's very good at sending those people. To, like for instance, if I, if I made TikToks about rugs, I make rugs at home. I could easily find a couple of hundred thousand people who would be into that yeah. on TikTok. And so you know, because my audience is people that work in advertising, so I do these comedy sketches about workplace comedy sketches. So I. In, in, there's an argument that actually they're quite high net worth, you know, slightly older people on TikTok in their 30s, or mm. well, they might work in start, they work in London, you know, it's agency people, yeah. as annoying as it may be. Uh, it's, you know, so it's quite, they're asking about where I've got my top, so why why not send me some fucking clothes, which they have done. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's it's quite fascinating, really, like the, the success that they've made of TikTok, because in my mind something like facebook for example um has become this sort of sea of just drudge like it's tr it's trying to appeal to everyone and in doing so it's appealing to no one um correct and got they got green yeah so it's like where like if i'm into like punk rock bands and a bit of hip-hop and stand-up comedy do I go on Facebook to find all of that? No, probably not. Like I'll search out the stuff specifically on YouTube and um, uh, and so on. But with TikTok, it's there's not that same feeling of drudge. It's um, you know, I've been on it for it's a discovery platform. Oh, yeah, on. I was just going to say like I've I've been on it in in any sort of meaningful way for a, about a month now, and uh, it's blown me away how quickly I can get. Uh, I can get followers and, and actual real engagement because that was the concern for me where I was like, look, it's all very well for my ego giving me, you know, this many hundreds of followers in, in this many days. But if they're just bots, like that was my instinctive reaction was just, oh, well, this is a... That's what my wife yeah. said. Every time even someone wrote, we li I like you, she went, that's a rope, that's a bot. And I show her the, uh, them profile, she's like, oh, okay. Right, yeah, so it's like, it sort of fucks with your head a bit because like I've been on, I was on Vine, I was on Byte, I'm on Twitter, and I've got a comedy page on Facebook and, and a YouTube channel, and fucking none of those have blown up, despite me being on most of them for, like, years, um, and and putting out some, I think, all right content. Like, if you, like, you know when you get one of those jokes on Twitter and you think, oh, this is going to fucking kill, wait till people get a load of me, and you tweet it, and then it just sinks, and, and, and you think, literally nobody... But, like, TikTok have... I don't know if it's the algorithm or if it's the way that they use like hashtags or whatever, but yeah, I tell you what it is. It's because it's a discovery platform. So TikTok is an entertainment platform. So it's more in competition with Netflix, arguably, mm. because it's the whole goal of TikTok is they want you to stay on the app. Mm. So it encourages, uh, it rewards people that have that it rewards as watch time. Mm. So the algorithm rewards is watch time. So if you're making a 30 second clip, you want people to watch at least 75% of it. If you're making a minute clip, half, uh, half of that, they need to watch at least half of that. And that will get you on the FYP page, which is the homepage of Discovery. Oh, really? For a, a new audience. They'll show it to 100 people. If they get you get enough watch time from those people and comments and interaction. Mm. You get um, promoted to the next. Then they'll show it yeah. to next. another 100. Yeah. You might wake up and you're, you've got an extra 20,000 followers one day. That's how it works. And that's what's key. Instagram and Facebook, is not they aren't discovery platforms. Mm. The only way your content will be seen is if you pay for it to reach targeted new audience. Cost effectively, it's not too bad. But TikTok, at the minute, the algorithm is uh, a place of joy, arguably <laughs> it is, um, that can every single person be a big creator with a billion followers uh, to me and you has every time we post we have exactly the same chance of that content doing well yeah it's a little yeah. bit swayed you know if charlie d'amelio who's the biggest art star on there at the minute she's going to get a million likes within 10 seconds whereas but we get a proportionate amount you know it's still we we can that's the excitement about that's the exciting thing about it is that for content creators and creative people and of all ages, uh, it's almost like a mindset. If you, you, whatever your hobby is, whatever your niche is, it might be gaming, it might be making rugs, it might be art, music, whatever. Mm. 
TikTok allows you to find your audience and it's it's thrilling and I think it's great and that's what's it's not you don't get that on Instagram and Facebook if you post every time you post only five percent of your audience will see that content yeah 